Hey fellow twigs and branches, it's Tom from Strength Ministry back with another episode of Tom's Technical Tuesdays. Today we have a very good one for you guys and there's a lot of debate in the world of bodybuilding, power, you know, just powerlifting and the world of fitness in general. It is the back squat versus the front squat and what is the differences between the two if there is any differences. So before I get onto the study, I want to talk about what muscles are involved during you know the front squat, back squat. The main muscles involved within the study are the erector spinae, the lower back, the quadriceps muscles, which is the front of the thighs, and the hamstrings muscles, which is the back back of the thighs or back of the legs. These are the main muscles involved, and which I'll be talking about today. So, in two thousand and nine, a guy called Gillett and colleagues done a study on, as I said, the front squat versus the back squat. And they showed the differences between these. Now, the first difference I want to talk about, which which I'll go on to talk about later on, in a nutshell, it's not worth talking about, but I will talk about it. <laughs> so, the, av the average difference of basically the front squat and the back squat. The back squat on the hamstrings activated more than the front squat meaning obviously the back of the thighs people know as the hamstring activated more but only by a few points which in the real world in terms of the results and in, in terms of the the actual study it's not worth talking about but anyway and the same thing with the back squat having less activation for the quadriceps which means the front squat will have more activation for the quadriceps. But like I said, once again, in the study, it was only a few points difference, which ain't even worth talking about, but I'm talking to you guys about it as if, you know, there's there's, there's going to be a difference. Now, the, the erector spinae, the lower back, was more activated during the front squat as opposed to a back squat. Now, from my experience, I totally agree with this. Once again, Gillett, once explained, so similar to the hamstrings and the quadriceps, it's not much of a significant difference, not worth, you know, not worth talking about. <laughs> and you could probably think to myself, why am I telling you if it's not worth talking about? Because if you want to go and check the study on its own, it's in the description box. But as I said, in, in, in research and in studies, in EMG studies, a significant difference is a 5% change okay so that will mean if if the front squat activates the quadriceps 400 percent or it's not 400 percent excuse me 400 points on an emg study that will mean as opposed to the back squat it would have to be 20 plus points more so if the front squat was 400 points it would have to be 425 points for the for the uh, front squat to activate so that would mean a significant difference which in the results will mean that these, um, sorry, excuse me, that these results will mean significance. Now, if we're going from 400 points for the front squat, for the quadriceps, and going to, you know, 403 or 405 points on the EMG study, then it's not worth talking about, but as I said, I mentioned it to you, just, just for the sake of mentioning to you, you know, so another thing I want to talk about as well is um, the loads on the knees. Now, I want to stress this to healthy individuals that there is absolutely no difference only by the actual load that, that is compressed the knee. So the back squat, obviously, you're, you're strong in the back squat position. So it will compress the knee more than the front squat. But I want to stress this. There is no... There is no health problems that you will get with with in terms of knee damage if you do the exercises correctly now on the other hand if you have current knee problems then the study shows that front squats will be a better choice for you as opposed to back squats and from my belief it's only because of the poundage difference there's a lot more poundage difference you know, take me for example, if I could back squat 260 for one, I might be able to do the 170, 180 front squat. Now there's a huge difference in poundage there. Okay? So, okay. Now, to conclude, which I've actually just mentioned all the way through this video, 
To conclude, Gillett said, there is no difference between muscle activation between both front squatting and back squatting. Meaning, you can do either to activate the legs in, you know, equally. I've told you the little bit of difference they have, but let's be honest, in the real world, we're talking about years of training to make a huge difference on the quads, the hamstrings, the erector spinae, so forth. And um, this might surprise a few people by this, but regardless of the pandages difference, the muscle activation is exactly the same. So in a nutshell, in terms of it being significant results, which, you know, like I said earlier on, they ain't significant enough to put into a conclusion. The conclusion is there is no difference in muscle activation, which means if you have um, recurring uh, knee problems, guys, I stress you do the front squat more, or if not, stay away from the back squat. But if you power lift, etc., and you're a healthy individual in terms of knees, go ahead and back squat as much as you want with good form, of course, we stress good form. So guys, this is the study this week we're giving to you. And so what we get out of this is, there's no difference between a front squat and a back squat in the real world, okay? Um, as a power lifter myself, there's not really too much room for me to front squat because obviously back squat is, is a huge movement in powerlifting. We don't, we don't go to a competition and do a front squat. You know, we go to a competition and we back squat. So for me, it's more to do a back squat, back squat, back squat. Um, also, I just want to let you guys know, when I front squat, it doesn't feel, na feel natural for me. Maybe because my body ain't used to this movement. But it does stress me hell of a lot in certain areas which I don't like. Um, but that's my only personal experience. Just want to let you know on that. Um, yeah, guys, so this is it this week. Um, if you want to check out the study, it will be linked in the description for you guys. And I hope you enjoy this video of uh, Tom's Technical Tuesdays. And remember guys, don't be a twig, be a branch. Tom, Chef Ministry, out.